now look, let's look at the first example of this structure. We can see that this structure contains an uh, incomplete um, ring. Compact. Kalau kita panggil complete ring dia macam ni. Complete lah ni ring dia. Semua tutup. Ada complete um, aromatic ring. So for this example, it has no complete ring. First thing first, you need to determine the parent value. Since we can see that the double bond is uh, contained here and here, uh, inside and outside the um, partially um, benzene ring. So we can assume that the parent value is heteroannular. So the value for heteroannular is 217. So when you determine the parent value, make sure you draw the loops first. We call it as a loop. Okay, draw a loop. Okay, this one like this. I think your, your drawing is better than mine. Because you're using your um, pencil. Or pen. Then I'm going. Okay. When send to, send to back. Okay, so you must draw like um like that. And then outside the ring, outside the loop, you make this this loop, and outside this loop, you need to determine uh the presence of ring residue. By look at the structure, there is one ring residue outside the loop. We draw. Uh, just now, it is located here. Okay, this one is a ring residue. Okay, this ring residue, um, the value is 5 nanometer. Ring residue in the table, um, each alkyl substituent or ring residue, the value is 5. Okay. So you must total or sum up um, parent, ring and uh, exocyclic. Okay, for exocyclic double bond, there is no exocyclic double bond because there is no complete um, complete ring. Okay, dia tak ada uh, structure yang, yang complete. Dia macam structure dia tak tak betul-betul in a aromatic ring lah, kan? Dia tak complete. Dia partially complete. So, um, the assume as a cyclic tak ada. And the total is 2, 2, 2. Compared to the experiment value by using UVVs, we got 2, 2, 0. Okay, by uh, our own calculation, we got 2, 2, 2. So, um, it is roughly um, approximately true for this uh, manually calculated value of lambda max. Now we look at the second example here. First, let's, let's determine the parent value. So there is no double bond or diene inside this aromatic ring. So first thing first, you need to draw the loop. Draw the loop first. The loop. Is uh, must contain a uh, diene. Okay, wherever, wherever it is, must contain the diene. All right. So this one is parent value, which is two one seven. The next step, you need to determine the ring residue um, that attached to the parent value. So ring residue is the uh, ring that attached to the parent value. And I can see that there is two ring residue here, located here, okay, uh, and the one, the second one, second one, where is it? Second one is here. Look at sini. Betul tak? Nampak tak? Uh, let me zoom this first. We have first one ring residue is here, and the second one 
is right here. Uh -huh. So the value is one th times uh, five times with two. We got we got th uh, ten nanometer for exocyclic double bond. So please spell it uh, fully because uh, I don't have a full space to type double bond. So I just make it like this bracket double bond double and as a circuit double bond is double bond that presents outside the ring so this one is a ring so outside the ring the attached to the ring is this area this double bond so this double bond is actually um as a circuit double bond to this ring we cannot assume this one is as a circuit double bond because um this double bond is separated by single bond so we, we, we assume that there is only one exocircuit double point. So total value is 2, 3, 2. Now we look at the value that uh, experimental value by using machine they got 2, 3, 7 approximately uh, true. Okay, this one is for third example. Okay, let's as uh, determine the parent value first is, is there any homo annula remember homo annula is the double bond or diene two diene a uh, two double bond present in the same ring so there is no double two double bond present in the same ring but there is a two double bond present in the outside ring so you as usual you must draw the loop first for the parent value you must carefully draw the loop. Um, if you draw a wrong loop, you will get a wrong uh, value for ring residue. Okay. Okay. This one is the loop. We cannot uh, include this double point because um, this double point is separated by two single bond so it is um, not valid this invalid all right okay now the parent value is 217 next determine the ring residue the ring residue is first located here the front at the front of the loop you draw you can determine the ring residue first here. The second ring residue is right here. Okay. And the third one is right here. Okay, what can I think about the pan loop? Yeah, what I want to list to our case to the pan loop there. I did other uh alkyl group. Okay, alkyl group yeah, attach. And the last one is right here. This one is a ring residue. Hmm. Okay, faham. So 5 times with 4 is 20. And the critical part is to determine the exocyclic. Now we use our hand um, to, to look at the compound outside A first. Okay, we have B and C. So C is far away from A compound, so it is not um, included, okay, of course. And B, is there any um, any carbon or any double bond attached to carbon A? We have six carbon compound of A. Let's say um, if we have C1 here, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6. Is there any carbon at uh, C3, C4, no, right, okay, settle for A, now we look at for B compound, is there any um, double bond attached to the carbon of the B compound, let's say if here is C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, between C1 and C6, there is one double bond that attached to the carbon carbon of B compound. So, 
this one is exocyclic double bond for B. Okay, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one is exocyclic for B. Okay, so total two four two. Is there any um double bond extension to diene system? Okay, double bond extension to diene system. It must at least ada tiga double bond. Okay, which is separated by single bond. So we have one double bond here separated here. Uh, by single bond is another double bond. And separated by this is two single bond um, to meet the another double bond. So it is invalid. You must have triple three double bond which is separated only by single double bond. So if this double bond exists here, so we can assume this structure have one double bond extension to the system. But for this case, there is no double bond extension to diene system and the answer is 242 okay for now i'm going to show you our fourth okay, the fourth example we can see um there is a s alkyl substituent but first thing first we need to draw the loop I'm going to zoom this one. Oh, sorry. I'll use this one. Okay. Make a loop. Like this perfect parent value as usual is hetero annular, which is 217 and as a cyclic um as a cyclic is here okay ring residue we have one two here three so the value is uh, 5. 5 times with um, 3 is 15. For S is uh, another orthochrome S, which is the value in the table given is 30. So this is the ring residue or alkyl substituent for S. So the value is Thirty and the total is two six seven. Now we move to the example that involve homo annular. Okay, this is the example of homo annular that contains uh, two um, double bond or diene in the same ring. So as usual, draw the loops first. Okay, loops like this. 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 Okay, perfect loops. And um, error value is of course of course two five three, and you need to determine the uh exocyclic one here. So we have five exocyclic, and the last one is the a five ring residue for exocyclic. We look at the outside uh, first ring. There is one double bond here. For this ring, there is no double bond outside it. For the top of the aromatic ring here, the top of this, it contain one double bond. Okay, so we have two exocyclic. And the total is two uh, nine eight nanometer.